happy with the win last week, only against that great quarterback. Uh, it seems like years ago because it's the extra day is amazing how it throws you off. Um, but with that, I'm going to open it up. We're off well on our way to the the rival of playing the Raiders. Steve, by the time you got on the field defensively, you already had a lead, um, and then uh, a lot of times it was two or three scores. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering whether that changed. You, you probably weren't anticipating that kind of game. Did that change your, the way you called the game at all? It, not initially, but then as it got into, you know, it starts getting into that third quarter, and you're looking, and I'm always looking at how many possessions. You know, it, it, cha it did change in the course of the second half. Can you there. elaborate on that? Uh, well, look at you. When we, when you're able to get up by three scores, the one thing you don't want to do is give them a quick score, and so we try to function that way by not giving up a quick score, mix it up enough, um, and then the, you know, and it can get bleedy, you know. Okay? And, and Tom was smart enough that he was being patient. He was taking checkdowns, um, but that was okay with us. And then you know, of course, you're still looking at the clock and seeing what's going on. But the one time the lead kind of looked a little bit. Precarious was when uh, your offense turned it over on downs in the second quarter. Oh, second and, quarter and now. First, you dialed it up on the first play. Mm -hmm. After that, what, can you talk about what you were thinking there? What? Ah, I was probably getting impatient. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure why. Uh, probably trying to mix it up. I, when LJ got the sack. That was a strip, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Just gut, I guess. We, we've blitzed on first downs before, no, no, I, um, but. Uh, nothing special. It wasn't because anything good or bad wasn't happening. Uh, you got to forgive me. Um, what was the score at that time? Uh, 21-10. Uh, 21-10. Had we just given up a score? Had and we had probably they had scored yeah, and we got scored, stopped. It over on down. I got you. And then we went out there and uh, no, nah, that was it was a good momentum changer. You know when you can get and we scored off of the did we score off of the yeah, so that helped. Nothing in particular. I, I mean I can't. There's no secret there. I didn't get a signal or, or hear anything, anything like that. <laughs> Just happened to have the right call play, you know, had, had the right call made at that, that particular time. Generally speaking, from a coach's standpoint, when is the right time to call a defensive back blitz? Every down, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, there's no preference there, and I'm being honest with you. I mean, we run them as, uh, we call them as run blitzes. Talking about second day, we could call them as path, pass blitzes. Uh, they're all in there. Um, and they are, and I feed them to the guys that way too. You know, a, a, a corner or a safety or whatever is coming. This will run blitz for us, you know. If they happen to throw it, do this, you know. These here happen to be, you know, third down um, pass pressures. If they run it, just make sure we rally to the run. Why is Steve so good at that? You know, he's got a unique, I tell you what, to me, in my opinion, when you watch him, he, he, he's really explosive from standstill to wherever. If you watch him, He's really explosive from point A to B. That's not easy to do. Some guys take a little while to get going. You know, and he's gotten good at timing it up, and we work all the time at, you know, when he's not coming, when he is coming, make sure you give the same, you know, the whole thing. I mean, he's been really good at it. Uh, we've got to probably stop bringing it. They're going to figure it out pretty soon here and uh, change things, but that might help us on something else. So. Hey, Phil, well, second straight week, you're going to square off against an all-pro, Pro Bowl caliber wide receiver. You had Mike yeah. Evans last week, Adams this week. What is unique about Adams, especially when you have to defend a guy like that? Yeah, another big guy that can run, great catch radius. I mean, all those things that you talk about uh, with great receivers. Um, and I, I, I still, I got a lot of respect for Derek Carr, and I think he knows where to go with the ball. I mean, you watch the tape of teams they've played, and you can see where 17 is getting doubled, and. You know, Derek's smart enough to go someplace else, and he's got some other weapons. He's getting another one back this week with, with 13, with Renfro. So um, I think he'll spread it around, and, and it'll, as the season goes on for them, hopefully not this week, um, you know, things will open up for them because they've got a great wideout out there you got to worry about. They've got a great tight end. Now you got a slot receiver. And the running back had a pretty good game last week too. So um, now you know why I don't sleep real well when we play teams like this. But they've they got an explosive offense. They've got, they got a lot of weapons. A couple more. Along those lines, what did you see from Jalen Watson? Yeah, Jalen, listen, he keep, continues to get better. There's tweaks and things in there. There were a couple, you know, the rookie mistakes there. We knew, I think I've said this before, there's going to be some growing pains with some of these young guys. We've got a number of young guys out there. But if we can keep finding, way to, finding ways to win games um, while, the, while they are growing, I think that's going to help us down the road. Jalen's gotten more confident and confident 
each week. I mean, the minute he walks in the meeting room, he, he looks different every day. That's a good thing for a corner. Confidence is huge. Jalen Watson, it seems like Brady was picking on him. Yeah, what do you say to your rookie quarterbacks when you, when you know you have a savvy veteran like, like a Brady, and even this week, Derek Carr, that yeah. they're, they're probably going to go with you? Yeah, just keep battling. I mean, I don't want those guys to change at all. Um, I want them to be aggressive the way we, the way Dave and Donald coach it. Don't change because one time they complete one. I mean, you can't do that in this business. You just got to go on and on to the next play, and hopefully, hopefully it's not detrimental and leads to points. But, and I think Jalen's done a good job of that. He's, I don't see him putting his head down. Or, uh, I, still, I, I still see him fighting in there. Did you have a question? Uh, yeah, Coach. So you guys have allowed the fewest rushing yards in the NFL this season. Yeah. Just, how do you explain that so far through four weeks? They decided not to run it very much. Uh, <laughs> they only ran it five times, right? I mean, that was their decision. Now, I, listen, we got – it's challenge after challenge after challenge, right? We had uh, Jonathan Taylor, and we had other backs before that. You know, and we had Leonard Fournette. I mean, it's just that it's not going to change. Um, they may – I mean, my guess is that in this particular game coming up, I think they're going to make that a focus. You know, that back that Josh has right now, he knows is really good. He got him cranked up last week, and I would imagine he would try to do the same thing. And it's going to be our job to see if we can get it to one-dimensional. Um, and if we don't stop the run, you know, the other stuff will get ugly too. So that will be a focus. That will be Thanks, big. Thank you. Okay, you got it.